Now, when you say the word reprobate, people might be tempted to think about uh, the Calvinists, because Calvinists use the word reprobate a lot, and they teach a horrible version of this doctrine. And I wanted to read this because it's also really funny because these same Calvinists, you know, a lot of these different trendies that we've interacted with on, you know, Twitter and different social medias, they, a lot of them are Calvinists, okay? And they really despise any preaching against homosexuality. While they might disagree with it and they might call it a sin, they hate everything that we have to say about it. And they hate what the Bible has to say about it. These same people will get just so upset about the fact that we say that there are people walking this earth today that have already sealed their fate, that they've already sealed their destiny. But here's the thing. Calvinists also teach something called predestination. Okay, They teach that people, before they're even born, that God already decided that they would be saved. Here's the thing when you teach that doctrine, though. If you teach that there's people that God decided would be saved, you also teach that there's people that God decided would not be saved. You teach in predestination and election. Well, there's something else you teach. And I got this quote. It's a little lengthy, but I'll read it for you. This is from a pretty uh, famous Calvinist book. Uh, I didn't get the title of it, but uh, this is a woman writing, explaining the doctrine of predestination and saying something else that goes along with it. And it's a terrible, terrible, terrible thing to say about the reprobate doctrine. And it's not at all what we believe. But this is what it says. It says, The doctrine of absolute predestination, of course, logically holds that some are foreordained to death as truly as others are foreordained to life. The very terms elect and election imply the terms non-elect and reprobation. When some are chosen out, others are left not chosen. The high privileges and glorious destiny of the former are not shared with the latter. This, too, is of God. We believe that from all eternity, God has intended to leave some of Adam's posterity in their sins and that the decisive factor in life of each is to be found only in God's will. As Mosley has said, the whole race after the fall was one mass perdition, and it pleased God in his sovereign mercy to rescue some and to leave others as they were to raise some up to glory, giving them such grace as necessarily qualified them for it and abandon the rest from whom he withheld such grace to eternal punishment. So here's what we do that everyone gets offended about. How many people, just by a show of hands, have seen the new, uh, I don't even know, head of the Department of Health for the United States of America that Joe Biden put up? So you know, he did a little backdoor trick on him, and he got an old white man in there that they just so despise. But the problem is that old white man identifies himself as an old white woman. This is the head of the health department for the United States of America, okay? Absolutely disgusting. So, see, we look at that and say, that's a reprobate, okay? They get offended at that. But here's the thing. They'll look at a newborn baby that hasn't done anything wrong, that's just born, that's just taken its first breath of life and say, that's a reprobate. You know, they don't know for sure, but they're saying God in his mind said, this brand new baby that's never done anything wrong, that never even had a chance to give any wrong, never had a chance to sin, they, before they've done anything wrong, their life doesn't matter. The next 50 to 100 years of their life doesn't matter. They're just destined to go to hell. That's a wicked, terrible doctrine. And that is, goes right along with predestination. It's not like that's a sect of Calvinism that just, oh, only some of the radical extremists believe. If you believe predestination, you believe that. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible doctrine. It's terrible and it's wicked. But here's the thing. These same people are crazy hypocrites because they get so offended at the idea that we teach that people, based off of their own choices, their own actions, have gotten themselves a reprobate mind. They teach that a newborn baby that's not had any opportunity to take any action and to reject the grace of God is a reprobate. That's sick. That's good preaching.